Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So out on the training pitch today, going to be working on a few drills that are going to be really good for midfielders. A lot of technical work, working on some first touch and distribution. So a few central players watching, these drills are going to be great for you. So we're going to get right into it. But just before we do, just want to say a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my website, 7mlctraining.com. And from websites to analytics to marketing tools, they're the all-in-one place to grow your online presence and manage your business. So feeling pretty warm, just gonna get my technique warmed up now. So I've got a hockey goal just beyond the goal line and then I'm gonna be striking the ball from around the 18. So just working on 18 yard passes. Just trying to work on that grass cutter technique. A lot of you have been asking for a tutorial on this. It will be coming soon, but trying to skim the ball either just across the surface or just above the surface, keeping the ball flat with a lot of backspin. So just gonna be working on striking through the ball. Go through a few rounds with my right foot and a few rounds with my left. Okay, so moving into something a bit more match specific now. So I've got two targets, these small goals. I've got the bench, which I'm using as a rebounder. I'm gonna be playing the ball into the bench, receiving it with my back foot on the turn. This is a turn you really wanna master as a midfielder, being able to turn 180 degrees with the ball and then play with your next touch. It's really gonna help your team get on the attack quicker. And then these targets are basically zone areas where I wanna be playing the ball. So it could be a through ball for a fullback, a winger or a striker making a diagonal run. Just playing the ball into those areas, working on a variety of different striking techniques using the inside of my foot, laces. And eventually I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to chip the ball over the goals into that corner area. So trying to get it over the back four into a winger or a fullback. So really working on a variety of different touches and a variety of different ball striking techniques with my right and left foot. So let's go.
So now when I receive the ball, I'm going to be clipping the ball, so with a bit of backspin into the channel. Trying to get that area in between the sideline and the edge of the 18 yard box. So somewhere in there for an overlapping fullback or a winger. Just trying to get it with a lot of backspin so when it hits the ground it holds up and it's easy to control. So once again working on a few different touches. I'll go right side first and then I'll go over on the left side. So just before I get into some shooting, I'm just going to do a little bit of dynamic ball mastery. So I've just scattered down some cones, you've probably seen this drill before here on the channel. And all I'm going to be doing is going in between the cones with the ball, just trying to keep control, avoid the cones, try to be smooth with my footwork and get as many touches as I can with all the different surface areas of both feet. As a midfielder, you're definitely going to need good ball retention. It's the most clustered area of the field. You're going to have two, three players around you at times and sometimes you'll need to escape with the ball still at your feet. So this is a good drill to work on that. So I'm just gonna go through it for 30 seconds without stopping, rest, and then repeat it three times. Last drill, really simple one, just working on finishing around the edge of the box. So playing the ball into the bench, getting the touch out of my feet, one touch, then my next touch to strike it. So as a midfielder, you get the ball a lot on the edge of the box. So if you can have long range shooting in your locker just outside the box and you can be accurate, 
you can get a lot of goals for your team. So very simple one, just gonna do a few rounds on my right foot, so opening up with my right foot on my first touch, and then striking it with my right, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the left. there we go that's the session I really enjoyed that I love technical work and as a midfielder you definitely need to be one of the most technical players on the pitch maybe a little bit more so than a winger or a striker where you can be a bit more athletic it's a bit more power based in the middle of the pitch you need to be really good on the ball to be able to retain it to be able to play accurate passes so your touches and your accuracy needs to be on point so these kinds of sessions are going to really help you develop that and especially as a midfielder, you need to be two-footed as well. Again, maybe more so than other players on the pitch because you have the entire 
field to work with. You need to be able to control the ball with both feet, play passes and shoot with both feet. So make sure you're working on your right and left foot. Try and get equal reps if you can. But I hope you enjoyed today's session. Just before I go, I want to say another huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my website, 7 mlctraining.com and it's become the central hub of my entire brand and it allows me to put everything 7 MLC Training related in one place. From links to my platforms, my training programs, my podcasts, as well as my mentorship program and my blog post. And I don't know anything about coding or web design, but thanks to Squarespace and their templates, I was able to build a professional looking website and represent 7MLC Training in the best way possible. So if you've ever considered building your own website and you don't know where to start, check out Squarespace. And if you use the link in my description, www.squarespace.com slash 7MLC, you can get 10% off your first website. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.